so we've just arrived at Graphico uh, in North Melbourne and uh, this is Damien, the owner of Graphico here. Um, and uh, Damien's really uh, supportive of the Project DBC2 uh, S3 build. Uh, he's going to be doing, and he, him and his team are going to be doing all the graphics and uh, the blacking out and, and making the car look cool once all the, uh, the work has been done. So um, Damien, would you mind maybe running us through a little bit about um, your business first and then we'll talk a bit about, uh, sure. about the car. Yeah. Yeah, so here we are here at Graphico Group. This is our facility here in North Melbourne. Uh, this part of the business is our auto part of the business, which is basically vehicle wraps, vehicle signage, and a bit of customization as well. So we're gonna take this little S3 and turn it into something that's a little bit more suitable for track. Yeah, awesome. Um, so we've got plenty of plans here, I'm sure you'll see uh, throughout the course of the video, but can we maybe do a bit of a run through now as to what we yeah. plan on doing and then see how it turns out in the end result? That's it. So obviously working with um, DBC2's design team, we've um, taken some artwork they've designed and that'll be a digital print stripe design which is going to go down the sides in a matte grey and then we're also doing some matte metallic grey highlights and stripes. A few other things as well to get some of that DBC2 blue into the car as well. Um, so if we have a quick walk around basically we want to get rid of those mirrors that are silver, so we'll blue them out. Of yeah, course. yeah. So, so that's going to go DVC2 blue. Uh, the mirrors, just yeah. a subtle little hint of our of our branding in there, uh, as well as the brake calipers. Yes. So we'll match that with the calipers. So we'll take the wheels off, give them a good clean, and give them a full spray in the matching blue, which will look pretty cool. And then um, the rest of the cars will be treated to the design that obviously your design team's worked on. It's cool. And um, a few other little things that we'll do, just some little highlights, get rid of the chrome on the grill, make it look a little bit more sinister with a full blackout of that. Um, we'll black out the rear badges as well. And um, yeah, just black out that whole look, make it all look pretty cool and all ready for track. Yeah, awesome. Mm. Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a good, a busy couple of days for your team. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah, looking forward to coming back and seeing uh, what it's like. Are we done. looking forward to showing you the finished um, product? Yeah, yeah, awesome. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> Cheers. To it. Have you got the keys? No. Well, I need the keys. <laughs> <laughs>so we're back here at uh, Graphico in, in North Melbourne with Damien here who's the, uh, the managing director um, and I must say the car behind us, the S3 is looking absolutely fantastic. The guys have done a stellar job and they've turned it around uh, in really, you know, really good time <laughs> as well. Uh, so I, uh, I, I reckon it looks absolutely fantastic and Mark behind the camera also does as well. Um, <laughs> Damien, would you mind sort of uh, talking to us a little bit about the, the end result and sure. how we got here? Love to, thanks Michael. Uh, so yeah, look, it's a bit of a different beast now. It's um, been partially wrapped from the front to the back in a few different colors and some sponsor logos. And we've highlighted a few different areas as well, which I'll touch on too. So if I um, 
take you through the front. Basically, we've wrapped the whole front end in a really cool matte metallic grey, which uh, we love that colour here at Graphico. All of our cars are wrapped in that colour too. Uh, we've highlighted that with the, uh, the sort of the, the big V, you call it, which was part of the design feature in a, uh, another matte grey. Um, bringing down to the side, we've also highlighted the brake calipers and we've painted them in a really cool DBC2 blue. And that's also matching the mirrors as well, which are also wrapped in a gloss blue. Um, moving down the side, uh, same sort of thing. We've got the, the nice greys, all the sponsor logos which are printed in there, so it's one layer, which is nice and, nice and, nice and smooth. And um, down to the back, we've got the cool matte grey with a gloss black DBC2 logo as well for a nice highlight there. The gloss logos on the black matte grey background is always cool as well. So you were saying that the reason why we printed the logos on directly onto this colour was because of the size of the logos, it ensured that it was, you know, stayed nice for a long yeah. time. <laughs> Look, yeah, the, the logos were so tiny, like some of the lettering was so small that if they are, that there's just not enough surface area. So the worry is that basically over time they can, they can wear out. Whereas this case, they're all printed on one layer and you can hit that with a high pressure hose and spray it um, from a bit of a distance and you've got no issues. So it gives you a bit more flexibility. And worst case scenario, if you were to change the sponsors or you add to them, we can always just replace that section of the wrap too. So a lot of people think with vehicle wraps, you've got to replace the whole thing again, but if the car's in an accident, which if you're driving, it won't be. I'm sure um, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We can just replace part of the wrap as well. So it's, it's pretty serviceable that way. Awesome. Yeah. Um, let's look at the back of the car as well. Yeah. Just a couple of details here. What I really like is the, uh, the subtle rear spoiler. We've managed to get the design lines through there as well. And the badges are a slightly yep. different colour now. So all the badges, we've dechromed all the car in a Plastidip spray, which is a removable spray film, which we use a lot here. Great way to black out badges and little trims and stuff that we can't wrap. And that's also removable too. So if you do change your mind, which I don't know why you would, but if you do change your mind, you can peel it off. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we've also... Um, tinted the rear tail lights in a really gloss tinted film which is another really popular thing to do on a lot of different cars that we do here at Grafico and um, yeah that's sort of given it a bit more of an aggressive look and it looks really cool especially on the black uh, paint that's here. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at, I think it looks yeah. absolutely fantastic. It's um, uh, ready, to, ready to hit the track. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, getting that with the Grafico guys as well. Hopefully yep. your track car will be ready in time. We yeah, we'll get the uh, Grafico police car out on track again, the old BMW. So that'll, that's in work in progress now and we'll have a few bit of fun around Phillip Island, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, thanks again. I really appreciate no everything worries. that you've done for us and your team's done for us. That's um, great. And yeah, looking forward to um, getting out there and seeing who, uh, who's fastest around Phillip Island. Exactly right. Well, <laughs> pleasure to have you guys here and enjoy the car. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Nice. Thanks.